Hey, it's Aaron the Ho, and today we're going to take a quick look at iOS 8, which is Apple's newest mobile operating system, which was announced yesterday, and I've got the beta running on my iPhone. Real usage, real reviews. Mobile reviews, a.ca. Eh? Now, right off the bat, I'm going to tell you it's really nothing spectacular. If you were to start using iOS 8 right now, you would notice a couple of different things, but it's not going to blow your mind away. There are a few nice things here and there. Um, it might save you, you know, one to two minutes a day in terms of using your actual iPhone. But iOS 8, in my opinion, is going to be the foundation for some pretty amazing things. I want to explain to you what I mean in a bit. And I'm also going to tell you the one app that I'm actually really excited about. So for my opinion, the biggest thing that Apple did with iOS 8 was kind of open up the platform. Now it's not a open source platform like Android is, but if you actually look deeply, Android is really not an open source platform because Google has the licenses to all these manufacturers, so it's really not open source, but it is open source. But Apple is giving a lot more tools to developers to create better apps. Now if you're a hardcore game developer, the release of Metal is going to result in better looking games. Uh, if you're a casual game developer, you're going to get a lot of help from Sprite Kit and Scene Kit. App developers now have the ability to access the Touch ID. Uh, Photo Kit allows for direct importing into Camera Roll. Now, all those things are nice. Better games, yeah, I spent a lot of time playing games. I'm actually playing Dungeon Keeper now. But the biggest potential of iOS 8 is Health Kit and Home Kit. Now, from my understanding, these are going to be the foundational pieces to allow us to connect all the wonderful smart things that we're going to spend lots of money on the next few years to our iPhones. And that's actually what I'm so excited about. This is gonna be really awesome. I love numbers. I'm an engineer by trade. I really love staring at graphs and numbers and being able to collect all this information. Yay. Oh, and by the way, we introduced a new programming language. Like who does that? Apple does. So that's all kind of hypothetical. You know, all the game developers could say, hey, this sucks and not build any more games for iOS and the platform dies. So I'm gonna spend the next few minutes talking about what's in front of us right now. So the new features, or I'm gonna talk about some of the features that I like about the new photos, you know, about the new notifications as well as the messages. If this is the first time you're watching one of our videos, I encourage you to click subscribe. We're all about helping you get the most out of iOS. So product reviews, tips and tricks, as well as news segments. So, you know, this segment is news. Now the iPhone that has iOS 8 on it is sitting in a lunatic seismic and we reviewed this case last week and we're actually giving one of them away. This is my most favorite protective slim case. So go to our channel, find that video. It should be, it's from last week and enter the draw through that video. Now with the photo app in iOS 8, we're now able to enter light and color right inside the app. Wow, that's such a great enhancement. I don't know how useful this feature is gonna be for most people because you know, most of us probably just mash the automatically enhance button. Most of us probably don't even bother enhancing our photos that we've taken with their iPhones. Now, the best thing about the camera app is actually the sliders that you use to uh, change the values for your color and lighting. It's just so natural. Onto iMessaging or the message app, iOS 8 now makes it really easy for you to share lots of rich media. Now, the messaging app in iOS 7 was pretty simple and it's still really simple in iOS 8, but they programmed these controls to allow you to capture video and audio right inside the app. Now, I've personally sent a lot of video messages to my family members as well as my friends, but I never really thought about sending audio files. Now, to me, sending audio files through instant messaging is kind of like a slow version of a telephone conversation and that just sounds really frustrating to me. The inclusion of being able to share your location, that's actually pretty awesome because the Find Friends app that was in iOS 7 or that you could download from the App Store is so bad. In terms of notifications, being able to reply from within the notification is pretty handy, but how much time is this feature actually going to save you? I wasn't actually bothered by the previous process. The Mail app has also been updated. There's a lot more features that utilize the swipe gestures. I will be doing comparison videos between iOS 7 and iOS 8 in terms of the photo app, in terms of the Mail app, as well as messaging and all the other wonderful things that I find while playing around with this phone. Onto the best feature of iOS 8, and that's QuickType. <laughs> no. Now this feature would blow me away back in, you know, 2001, or if I was living under a rock for the last two years, but this thing just looks exactly like whatever Blackberry did with their uh, predictive text writing thing. You know, I'm sure there's a bunch of Android apps for it too. Apple is not the first one to do this. But hey, welcome Apple to the predictive text party. Now QuickType is pretty simple. A gray bar above your keyboard appears and as you're typing, words show up into it. Now if you're a really fast typer, lots of words kind of show up in those boxes. I recommend not staring at that boxes if you're prone to seizures. But with the keyboard, Apple has allowed developers to replace the default keyboard. So, you know, the only thing that I really like about Android is swipe. 
and well, it can come to iOS now. So they should really call this iOS 8 Froyo because that's how long Android users have been using Swipe. Now, the thing that I'm most excited about that I think might be a game changer is the Health app. In its current form, it's kind of useless. There's a lot of measurements that you can manually, you know, put in and then you can create all these dashboards and whatnot. I've put in two points and I got bored. With all this wearable technology coming, being able to integrate and have something just automatically log everything that you're doing, that's going to be so powerful. I'm a numbers guy and so being able to look at a bunch of numbers and say, yeah, I'm losing weight or yeah, I'm putting on muscle, it's going to be pretty awesome. Now within the app right now, it's really nothing special. In fact, it's just a really big list of potential measurements. Now, there are dozens upon dozens, if not hundreds of measurements, ranging from you measuring your monosaturated fat intake to measuring your melodinum. Now, after going through all that stuff, I'm in a state of meh. On one side, it's yeah, that's pretty cool. And the other side, it's that's really it. That's it. Quick type, really. There are a lot of great improvements in iOS 8. They're very incremental. They're very logical. If you're looking for something to blow your socks off with iOS 8, you're not going to find it. The potential is there, though, with the health kit and the home kit. All that stuff has the potential to turn your iPhone into something incredibly powerful, more powerful than it is now. And that's kind of my first impression of iOS 8. So what do you guys think? What do you think was the best uh, fe new feature of iOS 8? Leave them in the comments section below. I'd love to know what you guys think. I'm Aaron the Ho. I'm one of the hosts at MobileReviewsA.ca. Check out the video annotations. We've got videos for comparisons between the iOS 7 camera and the iOS 8 camera app. We've got a bunch of uh, product reviews that we'll link back there as well. So if this is the first time you're watching one of our videos, go to our channel page and just check out some of the things that we've done. All right, quick type. Woo! Thanks for watching.